What's up, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. Kita, k k k k k k Oh no, I think, I think I failed it. It is All right, uh, I think I'm gonna head into the Volcano Manor today. I think mean, that's what I'm gonna do. But before I do that, from Hockey Mike, Dave, I'm not sure if you know, but before you proceed, go check out the Forlorn Hound Ever Jail before heading to Nakron. There's someone waiting there. I happened upon it by complete chance. Uh, I don't want to forget to do this, so I'm going to do it right now. Um, I've actually read about this while I was doing research that this was a thing that I missed. But I uh, haven't done it myself, so I want to I want to see it. And I figure that you guys would too, especially because I know I missed it myself. So I could under point is I could understand anyone missing it, you know? Yeah, no. All right, yeah. Hey, look, there's actually more of those hung bodies over there. They're not just right when you get out of the stranded... The stranded area. Wait a second. I recognize that voice, that noise. Oh, it's you. It's me, Bye. Old E.G. trapped me here. Told me I'd bring north but failed to Lady Rani. But there's no chance that could happen. I'm part of a bee. A very shadow. I thought old E.G. knew as much. Honestly. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh man. Alright, so I could open it. Uh, first I'm going to talk to E.G. about what he's done. And... Um, I'm not going to open it quite yet. Just because I think there's some consequences for opening it. Right away that I don't want to happen quite yet. I think. I have to, I'll have to make sure. But that's why I also... Part of a good reason for me to do Volcano Manor first is I'm not going to mess up any quest lines. Ah, you finally come. Blythe told me everything. You've defeated General Radan, unlocking the stars. The General was blighted by Scarlet Rot and driven to madness. But not long ago, he was hailed as the mightiest demigod of them all. There is no parallel to your achievement nor to Lady Rani's acute judgment of character. Thanks to you, Lady Rani's fate once again stirs, and the path to Nokron has opened. Mm. Descend underground, where the fallen star struck Limgrave, and make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron. Yeah, I'll do that thing in a bit, but hey, uh, got a question. Why is Blythe in the Everjail? I presume you've spoken with Blythe? Very well. There is something you should know. The two fingers gave Blythe to Lady Rani as a faithful follower. Her very shadow. Incapable of treachery. But if Lady Rani, as an Empyrean, resists being an instrument of the two fingers, the shadow will go mad. Transforming from a follower into a horrid curse. But such is his destiny. In such matters, Blythe's own thoughts hold no weight. It pains me so. But he must be neutralized. For Lady Rani's sake. What? What? Oh man, I thought we I thought we were G's and you're doing this sort of crap. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, E.G. Uh, okay. So it's sort of like a contingency plan, right? Alright, let's go to the Volcano Manor with Blythe going on there. So, you can let him out of the Ever Jail as you saw. Um, I'm just trying to remember if there's like some Celevis stuff I should do first or what. Which, um, oh yeah, I think with Celevis actually. Maybe I'll just keep doing this for now. With Celevis... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue his quest line. I was gonna give the potion to the Dung Eater, but if I do that, I, I basically miss out on a lot of stuff, I think. And basically, you can't finish Dung Eater's quest line if you give him the potion, which I want to do, so... I yeah. you helped get the girl back on her feet. Oh, I'm not her foster father anymore. I'd still like to thank you. Sorry. But the time you had to waste. Right, so that was because, uh... Nefeli Lu is hanging out at Stormvale, being the king, the lord. Good. 
I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salinas, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own arse he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. Okay, so let's go ahead and say yo what up to Celibus and head back to Karia Manor. So doing some thoughts and more research, it seems like with Karia Manor, um, really nothing here. I don't. I think there aren't any real people here, right? Outside of the one um, Albanaric. So. As that's the case, it's kind of like... I don't know if they necessarily carry a loss, but they just set up all these traps. And right now, it's really more so just protecting Ronnie, I think. Because um, that's why even uh, even the main boss, who we just heard, Latena, was a, was a astral projection or something like that. So uh, I think all the knights there and all like the finger hands, all that, those are just basically traps set up by Karya. And with the finger stuff, I know that's the idea is that it's a right card, right? That's what a lot of people think, is that right card is the finger hands. And since right card did grow up with Ronnie and all them, it's like back when Karya was being invaded, or the war between Academy of Rhea Lucaria and Karya Manor, I should say, maybe he helped out in a way. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of why those hands would be there if it's a right card thing. Or maybe... the technology was developed while he was there but um yeah oh what's up Celibus Snape ah so you made Nefeli drink the potion sure well done you are a touch more useful than I had thought very well then you shall have your gift knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Celibus I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. Ooh, what can I... what can I do? Hand over the scroll. What scroll? Oh. Oh, I guess he can teach us. I didn't realize that. Okay, so Karian Phalanx. An enhanced version of the Glimpla Sorcerer used by enchanted knights. This was the Karian royal family's secret means to prepare against the disloyalty of the Academy. The moon and stars would one day go their separate ways. This is Karian retaliation. So they were actually prepared for the Academy to go against them and rebel. Glintstone Ice Crag. The Snowy Crone taught the young Rani to fear the Dark Moon as she imparted her cult sorcery. And that's for both of these, for Freezing Mist as well. I want to know more about the crone, about her. All right, let's talk about Nefeli. So you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Mm, mm. Sure. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. Yeah, you totally did. Hey, I saw your chambers, by the way, where you had all those puppets. You break into a man's private chambers, rooting about as you please. Your offishness knows no bounds. Fine and well. You tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. Uh-oh. You yearn for a puppet of your own, hmm? Yes. Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. Ooh. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now. Choose. Okay, so for the puppets... Oh, are these ones free right now? Uh, okay, so normally you have to buy one um, with Starlight Shards, but I guess he's just giving us one. So, Finger Maiden Theralina. A maiden... Sorry, spirit of Finger Maiden who never met the tarnish she was meant to guide. Uses healing incantations and holy water pots, but she's not a fighter by nature and is ill-suited to battle. A maiden without a tarnished, a tarnished without a maiden, and yet no guide to bring them together. What if that's my finger maiden? Jar right puppet. Spirit of man who wished to become the innards of a living jar. The warrior jar once told the nameless man this. 
You're not yet ready to join the warriors inside. No, you must apply yourself. Better yourself, and one day I will return for you. Uh, kind of looks like... Let me solo her. Hey, maybe that's where the inspiration came from. Uh, I'll take the finger bowl, sure. Oh, it's interesting. Begging for another lesson. I think... It at some point, he's supposed to ask you for something, but maybe it's like... If I hadn't bought a puppet. I don't know. Alright. Let's go back to Volcano Manor. Thank goodness I got this puppet, yo, and I didn't even need to spend any Starlight Shards. Okay, enough goofing around. Am I right? Am I right? Let's go talk to Riot. Wait, no, it's not going to do anything. Let's just go in. I'm going to throw on my lantern. So I can see in the dark because it's so scary. Well, let's do this. Alright. Here we go. This is exciting stuff. The dungeons. The creepy dungeons. Ooh. Bloodhound Knight, eh? But ain't no dairy well. Alright, I should probably... <laughs> Start playing him normally and actually dodge when I'm supposed to. I was hoping that I'd just stun lock him. Bloodhound Claws. Sick. I forgot he dropped that. Let's see. <coughs> the curve allows the weapon to slip through an enemy's guard. Large curved claws used by Bloodhound Knights. Okay. Fireproof dry liver. And I think that's all that's in this specific chamber. Yeah. Ooh, some creepy music starting to set in. What is going on here in the Volcano Manor? What couldeth it beeth? Whoa, wait a second. What in the world? What is this place? The Prison Town Church. Prison Town? Say what? Hold on a second. Oh my god. It's lava. <laughs> Who would have expected that? I didn't see it coming. Nor should you have. Alright, so this is eventually going to be a shortcut that we want to raise up. There's a whole bunch of ways to go here uh, in Prison Town. So you can actually skip that entire castle section there in the middle. And just run across the lava at the bottom if you want to. Uh, but here we have a bunch of lizards who have their sweet stretchy ability. Just like our boy, uh, our god slaying boys. Granted, I don't I don't think there's any relation between the lizards and the god slayers, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of fun to point out, I guess. Okay, why are you curling poison? We are in a lava town. That does not make any sense. I don't like it. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, this is just going to be lava town exploration stuff. I'm just going to go check if there's... I'm trying to record this a little earlier so I make sure I get this out on time. So, actually... Uh, I'll wait to see if comments come in that I can also respond to from the last video. So, sorry I don't have as much to greet from... Therefore, I have zero interesting things to say. Alright, uh... No. Are these all the Nariks? I'm actually... Need, I want to figure that out. One of my friends was telling me that. It seems like the Volcano Manor, the... The Volcano Manor people are taking all the Nariks from... Sorry, I'm, like, getting preoccupied. Taking all the Noriks from Liurnia, and that's why there's the... Uh, and that's why there's the abductor versions there, as abductor versions are very Rykard and Volcano Manor. But I'm not sure if that's true. Weathered Straight Sword is what I just got. I want to see if the Weathered Straight Sword says anything about who they are. Straight Sword with... Rather short but wide blade, though the Urtree styling is still visible. 
Time is not that kind of the store, now merely a shadow of its former self. Doesn't say anything about who these are. Uh, I don't know if they're Albinarics, though. They don't look like Albinarics, so I don't think so. But, uh, well, maybe they are. Uh, wish I knew. Wish I knew. So I could give a definitive thought on it. I mean, I guess they kind of might look like Albinarics. Hmm. Because there's first generation and second generation Albinarics, and they all they look different. It's like the sorcerers were using them for their own biddings and such. Right, I guess I might as well just drop on this one. I think there's some other stuff potentially off the sides here. Then I have to do some more jump down stuff to places I was already at. All right, at least the very least I can get one thing that I definitely can only get by dropping down. Smithing stone five. Who what? Who wants a smithing stone five? Oh, an omen killer here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna sneak out. You know what? That guy actually is hair. His head does look very albinaric to me. So. Uh, and this prison town. So you'd assume everyone here is an, our prisoners, except for the omen killer, who I think is like maintaining the prison essentially, like watching over it. Great Omen Killer Cleaver. Which I already had, so I'm not going to look at it. So, yeah, I mean, if this is an Almanoric, can that be high evidence, too, that they're capturing a bunch of Almanorics and make, putting them in prison? In this prison town. Omen Killer watching over it. Um, no, yeah, that does look like an Almanoric. I'm going to say it is. Put my stamp of approval on it. Well, those are just general commoners. What they're wearing there. I mean, it's just commoner gear. Bird tree seal. Alright, let's see the Erd tree seal. I always forget that seals are catalysts. A formless sacred seal decorated with an Erd tree crest, once <coughs> the focus of religion in the lands between. Even though the Elden Ring is shattered and the Erd tree has dulled from its former radiance, earnest faith continues to hold the answers. So you guys were still faithful then to the Erd Tree, and that's probably why you were captured, just because we were in the blasphemous area of Rikard. Well, clearly they're Erd Tree faithful because they have that, that thing around their necks. That's what that means. It's an Erd Tree symbol. But these could be commoners who were captured and put to prison, as opposed to specifically Albinorics. Especially since they're wearing commoners' guard. Garb. So, you know, there's that possibility, plausibility as well. Right, the dogs came from here. There we go. It's like I knew there was another area I needed to get to. One hit kill? Nice. Be nicer if I had upgraded my sword even more before coming here, but it's okay. Don't need to OP myself that much. I'm actually probably a little OP since... This is probably the final area you're supposed to go to of all the dungeons, but um, it's still one that you have to... Well, can I jump off to that? It looks like I can make that jump, but I'm going to do this jump instead. Wait. Oh, there's probably a drop-off up there I missed too. Anyways, you can make this jump. It's just very scary. Bam! Made it. Stone Sword Key, very nice. Alright, uh, so like I said, if you want, you can trudge through the lava. There's nothing to the right there. I've checked in the past. At least I don't think there is. Um, you can trudge through the lava all the way over there. And going there just skips that entire middle section over there. So it's totally plausible to do if you'd like to do it. I'm not going to just because I've explored it. I know it's possible, and I don't have any intention of doing it. So... Well, I should say, I I plan on going to the uh, the main area anyways, so what would be the point? Since I want to explore everything. But, yeah. Ooh. I can go get the drop in on this guy. Literally. Are you going to explode on me? Just guts. Okay. 
Just gooey, gooey guts. Smoldering shield. Let's take a look. Small shield made upon Mount Gelmir, forged from uncooling lava. Resists from frost with its heat, and can even be used to deal fire damage if wielded as a weapon. So actually, it'd be good for the mountaintops of the giants, um, since it resists all that stuff. I knew it. I knew one of them was gonna... Uh, ah! I saw the... Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Oh, looks like I need to upgrade my healing again. Um... I saw that they were they had the caps on, so I knew they were gonna explode, but man, that was almost a huge disaster right there. A huge disaster, the hugest of disasters. Is there any reason to drop down onto that? I don't see any items yet. Don't wanna waste my time. No. Okay. Yeah, again. All of this is walkable, you just have to keep on healing as you do it. But I'm not going to. I think there's some enemies around here. Oh, there it is. It's like, I knew it. I knew there was enemies. I knew there was an Albinoric running around. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Very nice. Now that's the type of gameplay I want. All right. And let's run and, whew, made it. All the terrifying platforming of From Software games. Hey, wait. Anything over here? No? Okay. Just some all the Noric guys throwing poison at me. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be like that? It's not here. Where is he? Where's the guy that's throwing poison at me? Uh huh. Okay. I don't actually know. Oh, that's alright. Oh, so that area in the center there, I think that's where you end up if you get abducted by an abductor version. I'm pretty sure it's that center area that you see right there. Oh, God. That was great. No! You know, these dungeons always seem massive. Uh, until you start trying to run through it, and then you realize, like, ah, oh, I guess it's not that big. It's just because you take so much time to stop and defeat enemies. At least for me. <laughs> I don't know, I guess that's not- that can't be true of everybody, I guess, but for me, that's the case. Unfortunately, we have to go back in here and deal with the Omen Killer again, who is also a perfumer, so you know, that's cool. Since that's where they come from, they're formerly perfumers, at least Rolo was, so that's why they also have the perfumer stuff that they use, too. Alright, Omen Killer done. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and check out the top section. Look at all these dead prisoners. Sad. Very sad. Oh, something else I should have mentioned, obviously, would be that the, uh, the lizard men would... Well, obviously. Obviously. The lizard men are also going to be the guards here who are watching over prison town. So. Hey, look at that. Abductor version city here. We want abductor versions, we got abductor versions everywhere. This town is all about the abductor versions. They love him here. They got celebrity status here. These abductor virgins. So if you like abductor virgins, you're gonna love, love Volcano Town. Nope. Get that inside, get that inside. Oh, I thought it was, there we go. It's like, it's gotta hurt them for more. Hit the gooey insides. Glad I baited him doing a grab attack. Actually, you know what? While I've got this status effect on, I'm gonna go run and take care of the other abductor version. No, oh crap. Oh man. I was trying to dodge. I knew that like he'd go for that grab, but I was hoping I could get a dodge in right before. I mean, luckily it didn't kill me, but it certainly was scary. No. You aren't going to do it. You're not going to do it. <coughs> I don't like it. No. Nice. I got the gooey inside part. Oh, yeah. I got the inside of that gusher. It's the best part. No! No, I dodged! What the hell? 
I mean, clearly I was late on my timing, but I was tapping the circle button. Or I had tapped it, I just was probably late, I should say. I, tap, I tapped that button. I tapped it. No! No more. No more. Goodbye. Okay, now I can go up this part without worrying, because I think that's the only version on this walk. Or abductor, whatever. Abductor virgin. Oh man, those guys are alive again. Oh man. I don't know if there's anything on this specific house. This who's? Oh, there is. All right. Good thing I came over there. Smithy stone six. I don't need those. I need sevens and eights. That's why I want to go back to the uh, Mount Toss of the Giants just to get some sweet smithing stones. And rock. Alright, for calling finger remedy. You know, that might be all I missed here, but good to know, right? Good to know. Alright, so I think that is fully finished, this first section. Obviously, I have to go back to where I use my stone sword keys. Or single stone sword key that I used and get the uh, the item there. But otherwise, I think Prison Town's beginnings is done. We also can now go talk to Raya, I think, at this point and let her know what we saw. And it'll forward her quest line. Hopefully I didn't screw myself out of totally finishing it since uh, Lady Tanith just is all about me going to talk to uh, her boyfriend, Rykard, who I haven't... You know, seen yet. The Lord of the Manor who let himself get swallowed by a snake, so... We know that, we just don't know much else about it, so I don't want to go into too much detail. Crimson Amber Medallion plus one. Um... It has the exact same lore as the normal Crimson Amber Medallion, so I don't have any real reason to look at it. I mean, other than just a review, I guess. Alright, children, let's review. Wait, I never got the Crimson Amber Medallion one? Or normal? I mean, I think that's one of the starting gifts you can choose, but I think you can also find it. Third Tree's old sap becomes amber, treasured as the most precious of jewels in the age of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Yeah, because they would use that stuff as, like, gifts from the gods. Yo, gifts from the gods! Ah, oh, look at that cool statue. Serpent with wings. I mean, I wonder if that's something they believed? It had to be a pretty long time ago that... Rykar got devoured by the servant, or all this serpent men stuff, because I think that they started and occurred because of him, if I remember correctly. So, for them to also, like, build statues and everything, it's like... Clearly, this was all started quite some time ago. Albinaric blood clot. Oh, so there we go. That confirms that there are Albinarics here, but that guy looked different. He looks different. All right, you know what, whatever. Let's go through this door. And there is some awful stuff here. Oh, there are definitely Albinarics here. What am I thinking? I mean, those other guys look like them too, but... No reason to drop down. No reason to drop down. Um, I kept on feeling like there's something I missed in here. In this area, and I don't know if I ever really ended up finding it. Uh, so those guys up there... Um, these guys suck. <laughs> they, these are the guys who like really hurt you when they grab you. Uh, but yeah, these would be all the Norix. Again, and look at this one. But yeah, they do quite a lot of damage if they grab you. Just blood from that one. So you gotta watch out. Yeah, the fact that they're like spewing white blood. Um, 100% they're all Benorics. I don't see the blood of the other guys I was killing though. But that's always a telltale sign is what color their blood is. So. Okay. Hey, look at this. Another... Oh, I just saw the Doctor version. I didn't even see you at first, lizard boy. But nice to see you here. Man Serpent. Smithy Stone 4! Yeah, I'm probably not going to find a single 7. Alright, and... Yeah... But the fact that we're getting sixes here for the most part, and the other places or other dungeons we've gone to have pretty much been like fives or sixes or fours or or merger of those, this has pretty much mostly been sixes. Now that again is like one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm in the right place. 
Oh god. Probably should look a little harder. Yeah, my lantern on. It's just so dark still. It's so dark without my my light. Looking for those ambushes. Oh, you know what I never figured out? Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. These are the brutal ones. So I guess the other guys aren't as bad. They might just be magic. I think they also sound an alarm. So, uh, yeah, it's those, like, clumped up ones that are just awful. Wish there might be another one of up here. But, yeah, so see that? I've never figured out how to get on the lat ledge. And that's what was, like, been driving me absolutely crazy. Is how the hell to get on that ledge. Uh, I guess I could do the thing where I just use the uh, Margaret Shackle and hope that there's some illusory wall I never knew about. But I thought I pretty thoroughly checked for illusory walls on my own. So, I don't know. All right, let's check for any more of these guys who might ambush me and be awful. Golden Rune 9. Ah, oh, man, Prison Town's so cool. So, so cool, so nice, right? It's like a resort everybody wants to go to. They're all screaming. Take me to prison town. Okay. Any illusory walls open up by chance? No. No, they did not. Oh my god. It drives me crazy that I don't know how to get on there. Because, look. I can't drop down from this. This is actually over it. So I can't do it that way. Let me do another one here. How do I get there? <laughs> I kind of forgotten about it until now. I hate it. Okay, this is gonna be the guy who sounds the alarm. Uh, luckily, I got him before he did, I think. But still got some of these awesome guys coming. You want that, right? I think there's a whole bunch more in here. Yeah. Oh no, that's just a lizard. Okay. You want to fight? You come fight me over here. Oh, you do want to fight. Okay. You confirmed it. I wasn't sure before if you wanted to, but now I know. Okay. Let's grab this just so I get the checkpoint in case anything horrendous happens. Yeah, I was also checking in this room. Like I was like, there's got to be. There's got to be an illusory wall. And there was not. All right, the name of this little area is Guest Hall. What a nice Guest Hall, right? This is where I'd send all my guests. Be like, here, go, come hang out here. This is the place to be. Everybody wants to be here. Everybody's screaming about it. How badly they want to live in this area. This is the only way to open this door, I'm pretty sure, is from this side. So even if you do come from down there, there's a ladder over there. But, um... So, like I said, you can go down to that section I was at before and literally just trudge across here, but you won't be able to get into this door. So that's the one thing, is that you do have to go down that way. So I guess you missed that checkpoint, uh, if you care about that. Explosive Great Bolt. Don't explode on me. And this just takes you right back inside, so... I don't know, man. Uh, actually, is there anything back here? I don't think there's actually any items back here either. I've gone back to this area, and I don't remember there being anything interesting. I was sort of disappointed that there's nothing in this area. Because I did it the way where I trudged through all the lava. When I went back here, I was like, there's got to be a thing that makes it worth it. And there was not. Same with over there. I'm not seeing anything. All right. So just to show that this just goes right back inside. Let's see? So it's just a little circle there. And all I can tell is that it's just for that explosive great bolt. And it feels like it should be so I can get back to that top area that I was questioning and being like, how do I get there? Uh, and the gates up there are closed too. So I just, I, ugh, it's a mystery that I don't know and that I could look up, but I'm not going to. I just, yeah, never figured out how to get into that one spot. And I wanna know. Let's deal with some magma slug things. No big deal. No big deal. You're not a big deal either. Uh, I don't think there's anything here other than this magma guy. But no, might as well check. 
And look, we're at like a little town square. Now I wonder, because it's all kind of like melted in, right? If that this was just a normal town for a while. Um, and then the lava erupted, as lava does. Maybe by Rykard, maybe because it could have been his fault, because he was looking into the volcano magic and all that. I mean, granted, a volcano is going to erupt when a volcano erupts, but maybe they built this town here, and then the volcano erupted, and now everything's just in this constant pool of lava. Granted, I mean, like, okay, for the lava to still be flowing, it's got to be more like a Hawaiian-style volcano, in the sense of, like, it's constantly erupting a little bit, and it doesn't have just a big major eruption. This is something I learned recently, is that when a volcano is constantly dripping out lava like this, it actually won't erupt and have a like, crazy insane eruption. Let me know if I'm wrong, but that's my understanding. Um, also, if I didn't say it last episode, you guys confirmed that uh, what I thought I'd heard, that the red flag thing isn't what annoys bulls. That's correct. See, look, these guys are spewing red blood. Not albinaric blood, so... Uh, those ones could be just commoners, those specific ones. You know what I should have done? Shoulda, woulda, coulda, was, um, use my runes. But, I didn't. I didn't do that thing. Smoldering butterfly, just what I wanted. Okay, there's actually a bunch of ways to go over there. This is just one of the many ways to go up top there. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 lizard, no. Yeah! That almost hit me. Hey, he's using the candlestick one that we got as a drop. I actually never realized that. That's cool. Okay, so there's actually two ways to go here. You could either go up or down. Uh, I recommend going up first. There is a mini boss if you go down, which is all good, but just as there's a shortcut up top that's worth getting first. But before I do any of that stuff, I'm going to finish exploring all this. All this wonderful stuff in front of me. More and more rooftops everywhere to jump around. And this maze. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Is there nothing up here? It's just a way back down. I mean, I know to the right there's going to be some stuff, but... Because, yeah, I feel like... This, yeah, I was just on this earlier. Alright. I guess there is no reason to go up to that specific one. That's weird. You'd think there would be. Something up top, but... Like, at least an item. But, yeah, I guess not. It's just because, you know, that's like... Sort of a mazy path in a way. Alright. I guess it's just a distraction. Why you gotta distract me like that, game? You're so distracting. With your sweet, voluptuous lava. And, uh, buttresses. And those, oh, those buttresses game. Got me with those buttresses. Wonder if you could drop in any of these. Nah, I doubt it. I don't know, it'd just be fun. Alright, guy. That's it. Red blood. Nothing white about it. So, I guess just a commoner. Then. Wait, did I go down there? I guess not, but it doesn't look like there's anything here. It looks like it's just a fire slug. Fire slug! Check the whole thing, though, just so I'm thorough. Oh, what you dropping? It's more smoldering. I don't care about smoldering butterflies, though. Wait a second. Is this the way down? Yeah, this is just gonna be the boss fight thing. Also, well, actually, I could go this way. This is gonna be something separate. Wait, oh! Just to drop it. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, there. Now you see what it is. It's a magma worm. Um, I will go do that. I just want to first get the checkpoint. I don't at all mind fighting the, that guy. But, you know, be nice to have the checkpoint first. Just so, in case anything awful happens, which would never happen to Kita. He never messes up ever. I have a nice quick way to get back. You know, actually, I don't know which way is quicker. This way or the other checkpoint. Now that I think about it. Hmm. You know what I was trying to do for the longest time that was not working was draw, use that elevator to jump over on that and I just couldn't pull it off and maybe there is something really cool over there but I couldn't get it. Oh also there's a couple drop downs there too 
Which, you know what? I'm going to leave that so I remember to do it. That's what I'm going to do. This guy, I think, actually drops a decent amount of runes if you want to farm him. And I think this is a corrupted flame monk. Black flame monk reeves. Yeah, so this is one of the corrupted ones. Wait, they're greaves. Black flame monk greaves. Where are they? The Black Flame Monks, enthralled by the god slaying Black Flame, became traitors, abandoning their posts as guardians. The seduction of a taboo is never easily spurned. So those are the treacherous ones, uh, specifically. And it makes sense that they'd be here with Rykard, actually. Before going in there, you can already just look in and be like, oh, that's bad stuff. <laughs> any, any video game player can kind of look at a room like that and be like, that looks like bad stuff to me. Let's get a shortcut here. From Ranos22 from last episode, the Catacomb Cats are the worst. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Like, when they're bosses, I'm fine. But when it's just an enemy, I just can't seem to handle it. From Elizabeth Cassidy, this is a couple episodes ago. Yay, new video. Thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. Very much for going out of the way to make a lore playlist. Thank you for being interested in that. I'm mission to get that lore. As someone who's simply alerting my thoughts into the comments, I can agree that reading a comment you stand by or use to develop your ideas is the best plan rather than reading anything that sort of deals with your lore topic. Most folks have beautifully written comments on here. If you somehow use any of mine, you're free to retool them to whatever you need them to be. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, maybe what I'll do is like try to just thank people in general too if I just sort of used it to help me get an idea. The hard thing for me is more so that, like, um, a lot of times when I'm getting the ideas for, I, I guess I should say when I'm researching or writing the video, a lot of times that's when I really develop my thoughts. And it's like, there might be something that one of you guys said that is influencing it that I'm not realizing or thinking about. So it's not like I'm trying to purposefully, if I ever do, slight anyone or their comment but but it also might just be like a natural conclusion i was going to come to anyways and that's where i'm like oh well i i, I just naturally came to that conclusion for the same reason that one of you might have but i still would like to give credit for stuff and that's really important to me um and i've always tried to if you watch any of my other lore videos for any of my for any of the other from software games so um oh no sacred tears oh my god Oh my god. That's so funny. I'm so used to having extra ones because I just didn't care about it. That It's actually like it's almost surprising me to be like, what? I don't have any sacred tears? Alright, so I think the best course of action, honestly, is to go fight this boss there. That way I have a nice quick shortcut to the downward part. So, oh hey, what about, how about that? Boss fog gate over there. I guess this really must be a boss for sure. If there's a fog gate that we can actually see. Who will it be? Oh, a Godskin Noble. So we've seen normal Godskin guys before, and now we get to fight the Nobles. So, uh, yeah. Oh, using that Black Flame as you would. Nice. My problem with this guy, honestly, is that I tend to fight him. The first time I came to him, I was a little overpowered just like this time. So I didn't learn his moveset as well as I really should have. And just like the other god skins, this guy also appears more times eventually. Oh, oh my god. That's awesome! <laughs> this is a really great time to just unlock him. He's about to do his stupid crap where he gets like way worse. Yeah, so this roll, this stupid roll always hits me. I haven't figured out how to get away from it. The nice thing about his rapier is it's so specific with um, where it's going to strike when he does the forward one that you can actually get out of the way a lot of times pretty easily when it looks like you're going to get hit by it. I'm talking about when he's doing the forward thrust attacks. I also found out with rapiers that apparently rapiers sometimes can be, they don't have to specifically be made for thrusting. A lot of times that they can be made for, if they have an edge, you can also swipe them like a normal sword. All right, so we get the Godskin Stitcher and Noble Presence from him. Let's start with the Godskin Stitcher, and then we'll go to Noble Presence. 
elegant piercing sword with a celadin colored blade wielded by Theoskian nobles. The nobles possess skills with the sword, skill with the sword, unmatched by any lowborn. Despite its size, successive attacks for this weapon are swifter than the eye can follow. And yeah, I find it interesting that there's also nobles within the godskins. It's not just all normal ones, right? So that's interesting to me. And what was the other one? I'm imagining it's going to be a sorcery, but I guess not. Looks like it's going to be a... Um, What's it called? Uh, incantation. All right, so ancient power of the godskin nobles. Once a sign of the god's wrath, this incantation became a trophy of the nobles' god hunt. It became a trophy. Of the, oh, because obviously if you incite the wrath of a god, that would be a trophy of the nobles' god hunt because it's like, look at me. Look what I was able to pull off. I got these things mad at me. Okay, here is an interesting thing with Raya. Is the Serpent's Amnion. This is going to be something that can progress her quest line that I missed. Uh, and I have to remember if I'm supposed to give it to her or not. I think you don't give it to her. I think. Because you're like, you're beautiful as is. You don't have to worry about it. <coughs> Temple of Aigle. I really need to start looking up more of these names and like the location and my names and start kind of connecting them. I feel like Aigle might have come up in an item description, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, also, more serpents that they. They basically have a church to this specific serpent. Which I'm guessing is the one. I mean, you'd have to imagine that that one is the one that that they're like mainly worshiping, is the one that ate Rikard, that they keep talking about, as that would make a lot of sense. Let's go fight a Black Flame Monk again. And I don't need to sneak up on you. Where did you get that Black Flame from? From that Godskin Noble? Did he help you out? So, yeah, let's do this drop down. Somber Smithing Stone 5, and check it out. A little drop down. Scary one, but it works. And hopefully, I don't screw myself over from drops again. From just walking off. That was so stupid but funny at the same time. Funny and stupid all at once. Okay. Oh, wait. Is this actually the area? Oh, oh wait, is this how I get to... I thought it was a different way to get to the beginning. But this actually might be the um, the one that you warp to right here. So, whoops. All right, well, I'll go to the Magma Worm. I'll try to go to the Magma Worm this episode because I already saw him. But I guess now that I'm here, I'm here, right? Okay, so that cave is where I'm going to need to go to get out of here. Or, I mean, I could just warp, but... Because I didn't get uh, trapped when I came here. So, see all those destroyed abductor virgins? And, yeah, this is really your first taste of Volcano Manor, potentially. Is if you get captured by the abductor virgin, who is at the bottom of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, you end up right in this spot, right here, basically. And this is what you're going to see, is, like, this taste of Volcano Manor. The other thing with this is you actually can't warp out. It's like when you go to any dungeon... Um, and you're deep in a dungeon. You're trapped inside. And I was pretty sure there's a site of grace further down. And I was pretty sure even the site of grace didn't let you warp out. But that could be wrong. Because I think I saw some people post that you actually can when you get to the site of grace. But I, I thought I tested it and I couldn't. So, uh, yeah. So the only way to go here really is going to be the way out. Which is through this cave. And also I don't think there's any illusory walls that I'm aware of. And I'm definitely way overpowered for this spot. Because, um, yeah, like I said, normally you would come to this area and get to it through a totally different path. So, um, normally. I don't know if that's normally. I mean, I didn't get captured by the abductor version, but since it's possible, they, you know, have to make it possible to get out when that happens and not be... So you're, like, totally screwed. I think you, you do get pretty screwed, as you'll see, if that happens. It's just not like an instant you're dead and you're done situation going on. Oh. Just a dead end? Okay. I guess I didn't remember. Yeah, when I realized what this was, I never came down here a second time. I've only ever done it once. And I actually purposefully got captured by the abductor version. Um, 
I think before I came to Volcano Man, or just when I heard about it, because one of my friends who was playing around the same time as me, because we got the game a little early, um, was like, oh my god, like, when this happened, it was insane. And I was like, what's happened to you? Where did you end up? So I thought it was, like, this cool secret area he found that I had no idea about. When really it was just another one of Patch's traps. Or not Patch's traps, but one of those things where Patches is screwing you over by telling you to do this thing. Hey, look. There's actually more Albinarics here. Uh, and that would indicate if they were all in this spot, again, the idea that maybe that is what's going on, right? Maybe they are specifically capturing Albinarics. Okay, so we are now at the Subterranean Inquisition Chamber. Ooh. Inquisition's going on here. That's terrifying. Uh, okay. Is there any reason to drop there? Are there any items? I don't see any items. Oh, I do see one there, but this will lead me there too, so... I'll just go here. Kind of like, I kind of want to rush through just so I can beat both bosses. This, like, do this and do the magma worm thing, so... You know what? I think I'm just gonna... Just gonna book it. I'm feeling good. I feel like... We're grabbing stuff. Oh, a smithing stone six here. That's nice. I, I mean, if you'd gone here early... Maybe you would have wanted that. Maybe you would have really needed it and been like, oh, this is perfect. Glad I picked up that Smith and Stone 6 earlier on. But really, this is where our goal is. It's going to be what looks like. Could that be a drop by chance? I don't think so. I think I'll be fine. No, I can't even believe it. That was a drop. Shocking. Truly shocking. A cave moss? Yeah, budding cave moss. Alright. You know what? Let's use uh, Margaret's Shackle here. I know I hit all these walls in the past. I don't think anything happened, but I keep on being like, baby, maybe I'll find some sweet thing. I just want to see it happen. Uh oh. Uh oh. What could be through here? Okay, an abductor. Two abductor versions. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, I think it's, like, really funny that, you know, the reason you end up here is because an abductor version got you and you kind of failed to get away from an abductor version. So your punishment is that you have to fight two abductor versions at once. It's both brutal and hilarious at the same time to me. So, I mean, luckily I'm way OP right now. But that's where I'm like, man, yeah, it's, like, not the worst little dungeon you got trapped into, but this fight... Inquisis Inquisitor's Girandal. <coughs> this might be the thing that indicates that what's going on in the Volcano Manor with this stuff. Instrument of torture used on nobles behind the curtain at Volcano Manor on Mount Gelmir. I guess this would be any no nobles, though, not specific. Because Albinorix wouldn't be nobles. So this would be, like, probably during the war with Landell. His numerous spikes pierce the flesh that singe the wounds with flame. The smell of burnt blood induces despair in the victim. A candlestick conceived by a thorough mind. All right. Brutal stuff. And, hey, look at that. It's the way out. We did it. We found it. The exit. And I think now I finally have enough to level up again. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm still going for 40. Still being good. As much as it pains me. All right, and hey, look at that. We're now in Mount Gelmir, and this is actually the Seathwater Terminus below us. So, um, yeah, right back to Altus Plateau, basically. And you can see there, Seathwater River below us. And all right, let's head back to, there's the Subterranean Inquisition Chamber. We're gonna go back to the Temple of Egle, just so I can go face that magma worm. And uh, if I have time, I'll go start doing more of the Raya stuff. Start egging her on. And figure out what I'm supposed to specifically do. In terms of, like, if I let her know or I don't let her know. That I know, you know. That you know, I know. That, that thing, that's what's going on. Should I use this one yet? Hmm. I'm really just using it so I can get the slow heal from it for this fight, just in case I want it. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about that guy. Man Serpent, 
Man, do I not care. Alright. So, yeah, this is, like, the normal way, I guess, but, yeah, I just ran that other way, and that would have worked, too. This area is so... is interesting how open it is, and how many ways it kind of just lets you do what you want to get to its spots. But, alright, we have another Magma Worm fight. I've now had quite a few of these. Hopefully this one goes well, other than me getting my miss. Oh god, he's gonna walk around, isn't he? Oh no, he didn't. Okay. Oh, crap. Alright, it's not a one-hit kill. It's not a one-hit kill. We're okay. Specifically, that's brutal to me when it's a one-hit kill, because I've had those. That first one, one of these guys that was giving me all the trouble in the world. Oh god, I didn't know that was going to be a sweep. I forgot about that. Okay, what you got now? Oh, another sweepy, sweepy... No! Get the hit! Kita, come on. Come on, boy. Oh, there's he goes with the magma stampede. My favorite, because then I just have to wait around. Okay, I'm stuck on magma. That's not good. Get me the hell out of this magma! Hey, come on. Now you're walking. You are quite the guy. You can walk. Amazing. Congratulations for you. Oh god, I'm on lava again. That's the problem with this guy. It's not even the worst of them, and I'm having trouble right now. I just say that by location. There's one that's in a much more annoying location. What is that? That's was a cool attack. I didn't know. Okay. Let's get the tail hits here. Because he gave me that nice opening. How kind of you? How kind of you? Nope. I won't. I won't get hit by that. No thank you. Going for greed. Oh! No, no! I thought he had one more hit for some reason. No greed! Pay off! <laughs> Why does greed never pay off? Alright, Dragonheart. Who would have thought getting greedy in Elden Ring didn't pay off? But it always does. Right? Right? Okay, maybe not. Uh, okay, I will drop down there in a moment. Actually, I think that drop down is just right back to where I saw a moment ago. You know, when I first came and saw him pop up. I was looking out that drop down. Smithing stone says, oh, how many do I have now? Four, I think that's actually enough. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a dream come true. I can upgrade my sword again. Yeah, all right, this is just right back down. So perfect, let's go do that. And then I'll do some, <coughs> some brief Raya dialogue. And yeah, that'll wrap up this episode. Did pretty good. I think this was good. Made a lot of progress. Pretty much just about exactly halfway through the volcano manor. So oh wait. I don't I don't care, Riot or Roderica. Okay, here. Please. Yes! Yes! Amazing! And wait, strength from B to A. Oh yeah, the scaling got even better. B to A scaling. Hell yeah. Okay, amazing. And yeah, let's go back to Volcano Manor because I can tell uh, Raya what's going on. What's going on here? Raya, I got some bad news. I got some bad news. There might or may not be a prison. The serpent that lurked in the shadows that night it entered the perhaps and if you discover. Tell her the dark side of Volcano Manor. Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not? Born by the grace of a king. Okay, so let's see. I'm not going to give it to her, I think. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Okay, so I want to give her Serpent's Amnium. What is this? I remember this sense distinctly. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. 
It's a part of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I am no longer afraid. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so I forgot to look at Serpent Amnium, so I just looked at the item description so I can read it off here. The Serp that I just gave her. The Serpent Amnion is Amnion from the Mother's Womb, which cradled the poor, unwanted offspring of a re repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. Oh, okay, a repellent birthing ritual, which I'm sure is how these man serpents are being made and created. I want to know one day. But I don't think I know much more. Maybe that like Raya dialogue eventually will let us know. So I think if I rest again, it should make her disappear and we can continue her quest line. Hopefully Lady Tanith will say something about it. So um Yeah, so Raya's now gone. And she's not gonna be like, you have to just go to talk to Rikard. Won't you consider having our Lord? I see, but do know this to follow the path in order to like a true. Oh Won't crap! You consider our Lord. I but do know to that follow. sucks. I actually might have screwed up this quest line with her, because apparently you need to talk to Lady Tanith and have Lady Tanith talk to you about her disappearance for her to for it to progress the quest line. So that really sucks if that's the case, because this is a quest line I really wanted to see through the end because I messed it up on my personal game. So ah oh, crap, that would suck a lot. Um, all right. Well, hopefully next time I'll figure that out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And, uh, next time I might finish the Volcano Manor. That's probably the thing to do. Um, and then perhaps I'll go to the Meteor stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I'll see. See how I feel. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Later, guys. Peace. Hey.